today for First Impressions Friday I'm trying out the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and this is what it looks like. It's not in the packaging because I just did the first part of this video and my memory card decided that it was just going to fill up and my camera decided it was going to die. So basically I have absolutely no footage of the first bit of me taking this out of the packet which is really really annoying but this is what it looks like. I've already put it under water and it's got really big like it's a lot more bigger than it was beforehand so putting it underwater does make it really big and a lot more squishy and it does feel like it's going to do a really good job. So this retails over here in the UK for £5.99 and I purchased mine from my local boot store and you can get it from the majority of drugstores over here in the UK and you can also get it in the US as well and I've heard that it's an amazing dupe for the beauty blender and that over here retails for £16. So it says on the back that you can use damp or dry with liquid foundation wash every one to three uses and it says that you can use the flat edge to contour around eyes and the nose and then the sides blend the large areas of the face so I'm guessing that you could do this on the cheeks and all that and then it says also the tip covers imperfections I think I'd probably try the tip for the inside of my eye just to do my concealer in there so I think that's probably what I'll try that for I figure that this would probably be the best time for me to try out this sponge and that's because my buffing brush that I always use for my foundation has decided that it's pretty much gonna go horrible on me every time I use it now I get bristles all over my face it's pretty much molting like worse than a cat so <laughs> that's pretty crazy so I've decided I'm going to try and use this and my buffing brush is pretty much on its way out so to try out this first impression I'm going to be taking this sponge and I'm also going to be using my Rimmel Clean Finish Foundation in the colour 120 Ivory which is this one it's a really thick consistency for a foundation so I feel like this is probably the best way for me to put it on it's really not good for when I use my buffing brush so I'm going to see if the sponge is any better. So I'm just going to go ahead and dot bits on my face. Okay, so I'm going to use the round side just to pat it into my skin. So I'm going to see how it covers up my blemishes. Now this foundation is a pretty much a medium coverage when I use it with a brush but it doesn't cover up my blemishes or any of the redness so I'm just seeing if this is going to make it any better. already it gives me a much better and thicker coverage with using the sponge how I normally have with my buffing brush normally it gives me a medium coverage and it sort of looks a bit streaky on my skin when I use the brush but this so far just seems to look pretty much flawless it looks just like my skin which is really good and it blends out really easily as well so I like that So this is what it looks like on this side of me using the complexion sponge. I'll zoom in so you can see the texture of it as well. So this is the texture of it and I do feel like it looks pretty much like my skin. It looks really good and I feel like it has covered up my blemishes a lot better as well which is great. I have noticed that when I first used my buffing brush it really did not work at all. It, it looked good but it gave me loads of streaks on my face and then with this one it just seems to be giving me more of a natural skin look if you know what I mean and it does seem to be giving a better coverage which I really like and my skin I feel like it just looks a lot better with using this which is really good so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to try the flat edge and see if it contours around my nose any better than using the round part. That works a lot better, it does feel like it can get into the creases a lot more and it has covered up the redness a lot better as well which I really like. I think I prefer the flat edge actually to the round edge. I have lots of imperfections on my chin and I also have a lot of redness so I'm going to go ahead and use the tip of this just to see if it works. not working as good as I thought. I'm going to use a fletch. So this 
is what my skin looks like when I've just done my foundation and I feel like this looks a lot better than when I use the brush. It does look a lot better. It looks pretty much like my skin and I like the fact that you've got all the different edges to do different parts of your face as well. I really like this. I feel like it gives me a more natural look. It's not covering up these blemishes as well as I thought it would. But the rest of my face pretty much looks amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer under my eyes and see how it blends out there. So I'm just going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the colour NW15. So I'm going to use a flat side this time to do under my eyes. Not liking the flat side, I'm going to try you tip. So I don't really like the way that it's doing my under eye concealer, it's sort of making it look like it's going into my dark circles a lot more and also loads of creases under my eyes. I don't like the way that it makes me look like I have a random black line under my eyes. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use this to put on my concealer, I'm just going to see if I can pop it on my finger and then blend it in with the sponge. Okay. So I'm going to try this way, see if it looks any better. Okay, so I feel like it looks a lot better when I use my finger to put it on under my eyes and then use this to blend out. I feel like it does look a lot more natural. I'll zoom in so you can see the difference between my eyes. So this eye, I have used my finger and then also used this sponge to just blend it in. And this one, I just used a sponge to pat it on and then blend it in. As you can see, it does look like I have some deep wrinkles here, which I don't actually have, but it goes right into the wrinkles so it looks even worse than it is. And this one looks a lot more flawless as well. And it looks like it's blended out a lot better which I really prefer. So I know that this is the best way for me to put on my under eye concealer using my sponge. So this is what the base of my face looks like and I really like the way that it looks. It looks a lot more natural. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'm going to come back and do a review of the product. Hi guys, so I've just finished off the rest of my makeup and this is what it looks like and I have to say that even when I was looking in the mirror I normally do my makeup by my window so I can see a little bit more of natural light so I can do my makeup a lot better. And I have to say that it does look really nice and flawless. My skin just looks pretty much airbrushed with me using this sponge. I just really like it and I was pretty shocked at how nice my skin looks because normally when I used to get the brush it used to have a few streaks in it and then also I used to have quite a lot of the bristles coming out all over my face and it take me time to just have to take my tweezers and try and take off all of the different bristles I've got on my face so that used to take a long time. This is such a time saver and it's really really good and I like the way that it looks under my eyes now as well I sort of when I was doing the rest of my makeup I sort of made sure that the under eyes looked a lot better and this is an amazing product I don't feel like I really use this end for much it doesn't really do much I mean this end the flat end is probably the best one to get by the eyes and also by the nose and then this is also a great one the round edge to do the rest of my makeup I really do like this sponge it's so good for six pounds when you think that the beauty blender is about 16 I really think that you guys should definitely try this out and have this in your makeup bag I feel like it's just it just works really good my skin looks so much better as well and it does give a much better coverage using the sponge than it does with a brush as well and it just it feels really good it looks really good and I don't really have much else to say about it other than that I love it and I will continue to use this it's probably the best thing to use this when you have sort of thicker foundations only because I think that if you had thin foundations it'd sort of like streak it out a little bit but with the thicker foundations I do feel like it's gonna look a lot better and this did look really good on my skin. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what my skin looks like close up. So this is what my skin looks like close up and I feel like it does look pretty much flawless. I really really love it. So you've seen what my skin looked like before, you've seen what my skin looks like from far away and also from close up. So comment down below to let me know what you think of this sponge and if it looks really good on my skin. Also if you like the sponge or even if you do not like the sponge let me know as well and I'll comment straight back to you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video guys. Bye!